Tonight, we are digging into new developments on two mass murders in the southwest suburbs. Investigators search for a motive in the deaths of eight people in Joliet. And in Tinley Park, a man's been charged with killing his wife and three daughters. In that case, prosecutors say Mahar Kassem admitted to pulling the trigger. Now at 10, new family members, friends, and community members learned and leaned on each other, remembering the four women at a memorial service tonight. CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live in Tinley Park. Jermont. Erica, tonight a family, a father sits behind bars without bond and a family, they are baffled dealing with this loss. Now I had a chance to talk to the nephew of Mahar Kassam off camera. He told me this family is torn. They are shocked that this crime that his uncle is accused of committing against a family that he appeared to care so deeply for. Mourners one by one gathered Tuesday night, hours after they buried Mahida Kassam and her three daughters, 25-year-old twins Halima and Zahai, and 24-year-old Hanan, who recently graduated from St. Xavier University with a master's in speech therapy. I would say that she lit up a room, you know, like you could talk to her about anything. Classmate Karina Olsen wishes she could talk to her friend one more time. Instead, she and so many are puzzled with the circumstances of this quadruple murder. Very, very shocking. You know, you never expect this to happen to someone that you know. The ice-covered snow outside the house in Tenley Park is where police say the cold-blooded murders happened inside. Prosecutors say Mahar Kassam used two weapons to kill his wife and daughters over how he was treated by them. The defendant was recorded volunteering things about having just retired and that, quote, she treats me like a dog. I worked 40 years, unquote. And, quote, I worked all my life to give my family a better home, and they treat me like CBS 2 first told you there was a witness to the crime. That witness identified in court as Mahar's 19-year-old son. The teen awoke to screams between his father and one of his sisters. Then gunshots echoed. Prosecutors say the son came across his mother first, then two of his sisters. He then walked in moments before his father shot the third sister. Police say the father never turned the gun toward the son. Instead, he called 911, admitting to shooting them all, saying one thing to officers. The defendant stated, quote, they're all gone. Now, Mahar Kassam's nephew told me off camera, adding the family does not know the man who prosecutors are painting out who committed this crime that he's told me prior to Sunday, his uncle really did would have done anything for his family members that he cared so much about. Tonight, that father faces four counts of murder. Live outside the police department at Tinley Park, I'm Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Joe and Erica. Jermont, thank you.